Fraudarism, Wikipedia Audio Fraudarism is a paraphilic interest in rubbing, usually one's pelvic area or erect penis, against a non-consenting person for sexual pleasure. It may involve touching any part of the body, including the genital area. A person who practices fraudaristic acts is known as a frauder. Toucherism is sexual arousal based on grabbing or rubbing one's hands against an unexpecting person. It usually involves touching breasts, buttocks, or genital areas, often while quickly walking across the victim's path. Some psychologists consider toucherism a manifestation of fraudarism, while others distinguish the two. In clinical medicine, Treatment of fraudaristic disorder involves cognitive behavior therapy coupled with the administration of a SSRI. Fraudage derives from the French verb frauder, meaning to rub. The term frauder, originally meaning floor polisher, entered police jargon around 1882. Fraudaristic acts were interpreted as signs of a psychological disorder in 1887 and in ensuing work by French psychiatrist Valentin Magnin, who described three acts of fraudage in an 1890 study. It was popularized by German sexologist Richard von Kraft Tiebing in his book Psychopathia Sexualis, borrowing from Magnin's French terminology. Clifford Allen later coined fraudarism in his 1969 textbook of sexual disorders. The Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders called this sexual disorder by the name fraudage until the third edition, but changed to fraudarism in the fourth edition, and now uses fraudaristic disorder in the fifth edition. Nevertheless, the term fraudage still remains in some law codes where it is synonymous with the term fraudarism. Etymology and History The Professional Handbook of the American Psychiatric Association, the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders, 5th edition, lists the following diagnostic criteria for fraudaristic disorder. If the individual has not acted on their interest and experiences no distress or impairment, they are considered to have a fraudaristic sexual interest, but not fraudaristic disorder. Some sexologists distinguish between fraudarism and toucherism, but the DSM does not. Sexologist Kurt Freund described fraudarism and toucherism as courtship disorders that occur at the tactile stage of human courtship. Over a period of at least six months, recurrent and intense sexual arousal from touching or rubbing against a non-consenting person, as manifested by fantasies, urges, or behaviors, the individual has acted on these sexual urges with a non-consenting person or the sexual urges or fantasies cause clinically significant distress or impairment in social, occupational, or other important areas of functioning. The prevalence of fraudarism is unknown. The DSM estimates that 10% 14% of men seen in clinical settings for paraphilias or hypersexuality have fraudaristic disorder, indicating that the population prevalence is lower. However, fraudaristic acts, as opposed to fraudaristic disorder, may occur in up to 30% of men in the general population. The majority of frauders are male and the majority of victims are female, although female on male, female on female, and male on male frauders exist. This activity is often done in circumstances where the victim cannot easily respond in a public place such as a crowded train or concert. Usually, such non-consensual sexual contact is viewed as a criminal offense, a form of sexual assault albeit often classified as a misdemeanor with minor legal penalties. Conviction may result in a sentence or psychiatric treatment. Symptoms and Classification 
prevalence and legality.